On the morning of July 11, 2021, Virgin Galactic's gleaming white spacecraft VSS Unity and its sleek carrier aircraft VMF Eve climbed into the sky above New Mexico's Spaceport America, carrying a crew of six. After reaching an altitude of 50,000 feet, Unity separated from its mothership, fired its hybrid rocket motor, and soared to an altitude of 56 miles, becoming the first fully crewed commercial suborbital mission to reach the edge of space. Less than two weeks later, Blue Origin's New Shepard spacecraft rocketed off its West Texas launch pad, reaching a speed more than three times the speed of sound before the crew capsule separated, crossing the Von Karman line into space. The crew aboard New Shepard reached an apogee of 66 miles during their suborbital flight. With these two successful flights, Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin joined SpaceX with its Crew Dragon spacecraft as commercial companies capable of carrying humans to space. What do each of these highly visible space companies have in common? All were made possible by the pioneering efforts of a woman who was a champion of commercial space travel and whose leadership and advocacy helped open new worlds of opportunity for the exploration and development of space. Her name is Patty Gray Smith, this year's recipient of the General James E. Hill Lifetime Space Achievement Award. Born in Tuskegee, Alabama in 1947, Patty was the grandchild of railroad workers and tenant farmers. Her father, after retiring from the Air Force, managed the canteen at the Veterans Administration Medical Center in Tuskegee. Her mother worked as a clerk at the hospital. In the early 1960s, racial injustice and prejudice were rampant throughout the Jim Crow South. As a teenager in 1963, showing great courage, poise, and dignity, Patty and her sister joined a group of 12 African-American students as plaintiffs in a legal action in an attempt to desegregate public schools in Macon County, Georgia. Over the protests of state officials in the administration of Governor George C. Wallace, that landmark legal case led to the integration of public schools in Alabama, a case later upheld by the Supreme Court. After graduating from Tuskegee Institute in 1969, Patty moved to the East Coast to begin a career in radio and broadcasting. Her next move was to the National Association of Broadcasters in Washington, D.C., and from there, she began her distinguished career in government. She became interested in aerospace through her work at the Department of Defense and the Federal Communications Commission, with an increasing interest in the field of satellites. She eventually moved to the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Office of Commercial Space Transportation before joining the Federal Aviation Administration in 1995 where she was soon named an associate administrator. During her 11-year career at the FAA, she worked diligently on licensing, regulating, and promoting the entire U.S. commercial space transportation industry. During the 2000s, she developed the first rules for commercial spaceflight, oversaw the licensing of the first commercial spaceport in the United States, the first commercial astronaut launch, and the first launches of Elon Musk's privately developed rocket, the SpaceX Falcon 1. Today, the model she developed at the FAA for private human spaceflight and space regulation is followed by nations around the world. Patty retired from government service in 2008, but continued her service to the industry as a consultant and advisor to a number of organizations. She was elected to the board of directors of the Space Foundation in 2010. Patty Gray Smith passed away on June 5, 2016. In October 2020, the Patty Gray Smith Fellowship was established. The fellowship is a paid internship, mentorship, and grant program for first and second year black college undergraduates seeking a career in aviation or aerospace. The first batch of 43 fellows was announced earlier this year. Patty understood that there is a light that shines within us all. And from her earliest years, her light shined like a beacon. 
making the world a better place for us all. The Space Foundation is proud to recognize Patty Grace Smith, recipient of the General James E. Hill Lifetime Space Achievement Award.